Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Take With You. In this video, we are going to look at the loudness and pitch of sound. Our ears can hear can differentiate the sounds that are heard because sounds have different strengths and pitches. Try and guess what is the sound of this. <coughs> this is the sound of a rooster. How about this one? This is the sound of a cricket. Okay, we can identify these sounds because they have different strengths and different pitches. So two very important words or terms that we are going to look at in this video is loudness of sound and also pitch of sound. The loudness of sound has to do with the strength or loudness of sound. It is when you adjust the volume on your TV. Because it is too loud, you want to adjust it so it is softer. Or if it is too soft, you cannot hear and you adjust it to a higher volume. That is called the loudness of sound. Loudness of sound depends on amplitude of sound wave. Remember, loudness depends on amplitude. Loudness, amplitude. This is very important. A quiet sound, the graph of amplitude against time look like this, whereas a loud sound will have a higher amplitude. Okay, let's take a look closer. For a quiet sound, the graph is lower and the time does not change. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, six square, you have about two waves. Over here for six square, you have also two waves. Okay, so from this point to the second point, from the first point to the second point, it's about two squares, and they do not change. The only value that change is the amplitude, which is on the left hand side, the quiet sound has a lower, uh, the lower peak or the lower amplitude, whereas on the right hand side, a louder sound will have a higher amplitude. I will play two sound clips for you. This is a lower amplitude sound. My name is Chekutio. So you can hear it is very quiet and it is very low in volume. And this is a louder or a higher amplitude sound. My name is Chekutio. So that is louder. Okay, so that is the concept of the loudness of sound. Remember, it depends on amplitude. How about the pitch of sound? The pitch of sound can be uh, categorized into a high pitch or a low pitch. For the pitch of sound, it depends on frequency. If it is loudness, it depends on amplitude. How about the pitch? The pitch depends on frequency of the sound produced and it is measured in the unit of hertz. Remember, again, I will repeat. Uh, the loudness of sound depends on amplitude and the pitch of sound depends on frequency. Take with you repeat this many times because it is very important. A lot of questions has to do with this two set of concepts, okay? A low pitch of sound, one example of a low pitch sound is the sound made by a cow. Let's listen to the sound of a cow. That is a low pitch sound. A high pitch sound will be a sound that is produced by, for example, a rat or a mouse. That is a high pitch sound. Another example will be the sound of a man. For example, I am very handsome. That is a low pitch sound. A high pitch sound will be the sound of a lady. For example, I am very beautiful. That is high pitch. So low pitch and high pitch has to do with frequency, where the loudness of sound has to do with amplitude. The low pitch sound the graph will look something like this, okay? Whereas a high pitch sound, you will notice that the amplitude does not change. Okay, on the left hand side, a low pitch sound, the amplitude is one square up at the highest point. Whereas on a high pitch sound, it is also one square up. But what changes is in the same time, in the same time frame, a high pitch sound will have a lot more waves. They are a lot closer to each other compared to the low pitch sound. So if we want to increase the volume, 
the loudness. We will increase the output power, or we will increase the amplitude. Look at this one. On the left hand side, the original sound, and the the right hand side. If we increase the amplitude, you will see that the wave amplitude increases, then the loudest sound will be produced. But if we do not increase the volume, we increase the frequency. Okay, so there's a lot more waves that are closer to each other, then the frequency increases and a higher pitch is produced. The next thing that we are going to look at is very interesting. It is called the Doppler effect. What is Doppler effect? Doppler effect is the apparent change in frequency. There will be a change in frequency. Why is the frequency changing? Because of the movement of a sound source. Or the movement of the observer, or the movement of both of them. Okay, what do I mean? Let's take a look at an example. For example, this is a little boy standing here, and the ambulance is moving towards the boy. Okay, so the ambulance has the siren going on. You can hear the siren of the ambulance. And when the ambulance is moving towards the boy, you can see that the sound wave in front of the ambulance become narrow. That means they are a lot closer to each other. If you look at the graph here, what does that mean? That means it is a high frequency sound. So this little boy will hear a high frequency ambulance siren. The ambulance siren that is heard by this boy increases as the ambulance come closer to the boy, because the boy is not moving. Okay, the ambulance come or approaches the boy. He will hear、uh, the siren that is of a higher frequency. But when the ambulance drive past the boy and drove further away from the boy, you can see that the sound wave, this、uh, the light blue line here, represent the sound wave. Okay, and this sound wave are further away from each other. If you look at the graph here, they are of a lower frequency. So the frequency of the ambulance siren heard by this little boy will decrease as the ambulance drives further away from him. Okay, so it's as if when the ambulance drive past this boy, as it comes closer, he will hear one type of a siren that has high frequency, and when the ambulance pass him. And drive further away, he will hear another type of siren, as if there are two different type of siren. But that's not true. The ambulance actually use the same siren. If you are inside the ambulance, you will hear the same thing the whole time. I will show you, or I will let you hear a sound clip. Okay, when a car drive past you, just like this picture. Imagine this is a car. The the car will sound the horn, okay, as the car is coming towards you and drive past you and move further away. The 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 driver keep his hand on the horn and sound the horn the whole time. This is what the horn will sound like to you. It's like there are two pitches as the car coming nearer to you. The 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 horn is a、uh, sound, is with a sound with higher frequency. As the car move further away from you, you will hear the frequency drop, the pitch drop. It's as if there's two different pitches, right? That is called the Doppler effect. I'll play it one more time for you. That is how it sound like the drop of frequency. So that is called the Doppler effect. Well, that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you again in the next video. Okay, bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.